Sophia. The Diamond One goes round in the New Zealand Thoroughbred Breeders Stakes at Group One level this weekend. How's she come up north? Yeah, she's travelled up really well, taking everything in her stride. Okay, yeah. Uh, for you, uh, what'd you make of the, the last start winning the Cattle Stakes? Yeah, she fought really hard. Um, they they really dished it up to her, and yeah, she she fought right to the line. Okay, one uh, point about that run was that she was uh, five weeks between runs. She'd be obviously a bit sharper coming into this one this weekend. Yeah, I think she's definitely tightened up a bit and improved, so she's going to need to looking at the field. Yeah, the field's come up really strong. What do you make of the of the, the rivals that she's got to come up against? Yeah, there's nothing in there that, that hasn't earned its place in the field, so she's really going to have to be be at her very best. Okay, a bit of a setback uh, today with Barrier 16. What do you make of that? That's Rory's problem. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So Rory so obviously started to, to form quite an alliance with her from uh, from the Dunedin win then also the Wellington win last time out. Uh, nice to have that jockey on board. Yeah, it's nice to have someone on that, that knows her and, um, you know, I gave him plan A and B the first couple of times, but he's had to go to plan F, so, yeah, he's run more winners than me, so we'll leave it to him. Okay, yeah, pretty emotional win at, uh, at Wingatui, obviously, uh, with Steve uh, passing away a few days earlier, but uh, since then she's just gone to strength to strength. Yeah, she has, yeah. Okay, yeah, just looking uh, at that, uh, the Trentham run especially, uh, the improvement that she's taken from that, can you just sort of outline just how much she's come on? Yeah, I just think she's tightened up a little bit, you know. Um, as you say, it was five weeks between runs. She travelled up four days before the race. This time she's she's had a week in Otake, settled down, come up here and settled down for a couple of weeks. And, yeah, and I'm very happy with her. OK, you've got a stable here with uh, Graham Rogers. And when did she arrive at this stable? She came up here last Monday. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, of course, this is familiar territory for you. This is where you're apprenticed as a jockey. Yeah, I spent a good few years here and had a good time, so it's quite nice to be back. Mr Rogerson and... And Debbie and Michelle and Gary have both been great, having me and the girls and, and the horse here, so yeah, it's nice. Has it been a bit surreal sort of coming back? Well, I, I wasn't meant to be coming back. She was meant to, the original plan was for her to stay in Otaki, but I thought we'd better see it right through to the end, so. Okay. How long had the, the Tiara race been on her programme? Um, it was a dream for Steve, you know, last year, um, when she came up for that group one at Otaki. This, he, ha he had it in the back of his mind then, so, yeah. What are your expectations this weekend? Oh, listen, she, she's really well. We've had, we've had no issues since Wellington, no issues going in. We've got a, a fit and happy horse. So, yeah, I, I'm expectful and hopeful that she'll be right there batting out the finish. Can she win? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Safely through this weekend and uh, assuming that she does run a race up to your satisfaction, there's at least a handicap in a couple of weeks' time at Ellerslie. Is, is that something you've considered? Yeah, we, we'll just get through Saturday's race and, and discuss with the owners. Um, we haven't we haven't even discussed after Saturday, but we'll just get this race over and see what happens. Yeah, and uh, and Heck, has he been back uh, enjoying the the training role as well? Yeah, yeah, I think he's well. We're doing it for Steve. Yeah.